Schmid Tool has been serving the military, law enforcement, and legally armed citizens for over 40 years. Everything sold on the Schmidt Inside website is 100% sourced and manufactured in the United States of America, period. No apologies, no exceptions. Our mission is to deliver the highest quality components available for your builds and our quality is well known throughout the industry. Let's look at the steps to install one of our fire control groups into your AR-15. Today, we will be installing the Schmidt Inside Gun Nuts TF Two Stage Nickel Boron Fire Control Group into this Mark 12 custom build. In the bag, you'll find the trigger assembly, the hammer assembly, and the trigger and hammer pins. You might need a small hammer, a 1 8 and 5 30 seconds punch, as well as a slave pin for this installation. First thing you want to do is make sure that the gun is safe by ejecting the magazine and locking the bolt to the rear. Visually inspecting the chamber to make sure that it is empty. Release the bolt carrier and release the forward and takedown pins. Separate the upper and lower receivers, setting the upper receiver aside because we're only working on the lower receiver today. Take your punch and remove the hammer pin and hammer assembly. Then you're going to remove the trigger pin and disconnector assembly. Into the trigger assembly, we'll add a slave pin, which is a shorter pin that helps hold the assembly together and is more narrow than the receiver, so it allows you to place the entire trigger assembly inside. Align the slave pin with the rear hole of the lower receiver, adding some tension on the spring so you can then line up the holes. Take your trigger pin and push that through, which will eject the slave pin out of your way. Next, rotate so the spring is in the correct orientation as shown here. The two ends of the spring need to go behind the trigger pin as shown here before you compress it into the lower receiver. Once it's compressed, you need to insert the hammer pin. You may need to use a small hammer or punch to complete the insertion. While performing a function check of the fire control group, make sure you carefully allow the hammer to come forward as not to damage the bolt catch and release. Keep tension on the hammer as it falls while you press the trigger. Check the reset and then check to see if the trigger can be put on safe. Once you're finished, go ahead and cock the hammer back and replace the upper receiver onto the lower receiver. And do one more function check by cycling the weapon using the charging handle. Put the rifle on safe. Put the rifle on fire. And at this point, you can safely dry fire the rifle. 